Righto, Teleodi champs, now you want to know what is the best gaming monitor in 2023. Wolf, this is it. It's still this. It's the Alienware 34 inch QD OLED monitor. I've got a ton of videos on this. You might want to check it out, but I'm going to tell you why it's still the best gaming monitor. And I'm going to tell you why this thing gives you the best advantage out of anything you're going to get in your gaming setup. This thing is the best advantage. But things have changed, actually. I think Dell have slipped in a, you know, a driver update for this thing. The behavior of it's changed. We're going to check if it's got any burn in. So yeah, nah, let's just crack on. Now there are some other gaming monitors coming out this year that I'm keeping my eye on. And yeah, subscribe for that. Because I'm going to test out that 27 inch 240Hz end game from ROG. That thing looks very promising. But LG released their 240Hz OLED monitor. And it sort of turned out to be a bit of a flop. Not that it's not a good gaming monitor. It's good, especially if you want eSports, right? You know, this Alienware widescreen is not good for eSports. You really want a smaller 16x9 for eSports. And the LG promised so much being 240Hz OLED. But it just couldn't offer the brightness of this uh, QD OLED of this Alienware. So it sort of failed in that regard. Especially when you think that, you know, with the QD OLED, the colours don't fade when it gets bright. But the LG didn't even get that bright to start with. So we're hoping that the end game, it's supposed to be using the same sort of panel as that LG. We're hoping that because it's got a heat sink, we can get, you know, a brighter image. And hopefully it's brighter for longer, right? So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe for that 240Hz OLED coming from ROG, the end game. But currently as it stands now, this is the best gaming monitor. Now let's talk about burning. Well, as you can see here, you know, I can put 100% bright, I can put, you know, 33% grey, 50% grey. And it sort of doesn't matter, I can't see any burning. Now, someone in the comments on one of my videos about this 34 inch QD OLED monitor from Alienware said basically their brother or something returned four of them and all of them had burn in. So here's the deal, right? I do the pixel and panel refresher, I don't know, once a week or whatever. It does it automatically too. And Dell must have slipped in a new driver because the way this behaves now is different to when I got it. What do I mean by that? Well, I never ever heard the fan on this, ever. And I still don't if I'm gaming or video editing. But when I was browsing the web the other day with lots of bright white, you know, web pages, still now for about maybe an hour or so, I turned off the computer and I can hear a fan. I'm like, what is that? And it's the fan on the actual monitor. So those bright white pages, and I have it in 1000 nit peak brightness and I have it in HDR mode. So those bright white pages, it's putting on the fan now where it never used to. So I think they've slipped in a new driver. So I think maybe there could be some sort of issue with burning depending on your usage, right? For my usage, I mostly use it for gaming. I've used it for video editing web surfing and stuff like that just general use i don't really use it that much i've got my laptop or whatever so i'm mostly gaming on mine but i can imagine if you have lots of bright white web pages and you're in a thousand nits uh, setting on this thing given that now the fan kicks in all the time maybe there's something to that maybe this guy whatever who had four panel replacements maybe uses white web pages all the time and doesn't use the pixel refresher or something i don't know but what I will say is stick it in dark mode. I think that's the best cause of action. I don't see any burning with my usage. So I can only tell you from me, from my perspective, and I always have in the top left-hand corner my telemetry. And I've looked, there's no burning there. And they're bright, right? When I game all the time, those things are there on the top left-hand corner all the time. And I'm not getting any burning. But I will say, whatever, they must have slipped in the new driver because I've never heard the fans before. And also, I don't think in Windows HDR mode, it's as bright as it used to be. So that might be a Windows update thing, or maybe it's the driver, I don't know. Gaming, when I measure the peak brightness and stuff like that, it's exactly the same. But I have noticed it seems a bit dimmer in HDR mode on the desktop. So I don't know if that's a driver from Dell, Windows update, I have no idea, but I have noticed that it is dimmer. Now, I'm not saying it's dim, it's still brighter than anything out there, but it's not as bright as it used to be. Because I remember at night, when I'm in there at night, it's like, wow, this is too bright. But I couldn't be bothered switching between 1000 nits and 400 nits, so I'll just leave it 1000, yeah, whatever. It's too bright, whatever, that's fine. Just leave it in dark mode. 
For me, burn-in hasn't been an issue, but I will say they must have slipped in a new driver there because I've noticed the fan where I've never noticed it since it's been out. So that is what it is. So why is this the best gaming monitor? Because nothing competes to this. This thing is the best advantage for gaming. So I can tell you with this thing here, I can hit the targets much better. Everything's sharper, 175 hertz, beautiful. Everything's bright, it's vivid. It's gaming like you've never seen it before. I've used other OLEDs, C1s, C2s, even that LG T40 hertz. It's not gonna be better than this because it can get bright, like thousand nits bright, but you don't lose the color when it gets bright. It's so vivid, the contrast helps you see things better because it's OLED it's got that contrast so you see things better and because it's such a fast pixel response I mean I've reviewed 300 hertz monitors 360 hertz monitors this thing is the best for aiming like I hit it all the time like with 300 hertz monitors and even 360 hertz monitors when they're just the normal sort of LED monitors I sort of sort of compensate and aim at the front edge because that pixel refresh just isn't that fast that when I use an OLED it just seems there's no compensation whatsoever I just hit the target all the time and I think it's just that pixel refresh that's doing now now with this thing here it's like everything it's better than extreme mode on an LED monitor everything is just better on this monitor it's curved which I didn't think was like a thing I would like but it's just the best thing in my gaming setup is this without question it is the best thing I've had in years highly recommend this monitor it's going to give you a competitive edge now when i say an edge it doesn't matter you know you got to look for the weakest link in your you know setup having this monitor ain't going to make any difference and if you lack skill compared to someone good yeah it's not going to give you a competitive advantage and it's the best thing in my gaming setup hands down highly recommend with the burning thing i i can only tell you i've had no problems but you know it's got a panel replacement, premium panel replacement warranty. So what are you worried about? And Dell are really good with that. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.